It's a classic piece of video, and it says all you need to know about our friend Kirk Gibson. This is how he played the game in June of 83, the chance of the inside the park homer, and no one was going to deny him. Certainly not umpire Larry Barnett, who was there, perhaps too close to there to make the call. And, of course, Gibby was safe. Barnett, perhaps, not so much. It really is an impossible job, this umpiring gig, now with review and slow motion instant replay and Zabruder film frame by frame analysis. Think about it. Whatever job you have, wherever you are, imagine someone standing over you and questioning every decision that you make. These guys get it. They know it's all about making sure they get it right. Kirk Gibson has known two members of the crew working this series, Tom Hallion and Phil Cuzzy for a long time. <laughs> well, you got me a couple times, didn't you? Uh, I think we were we were buddies once. one night. We yeah. were buddies one night and you got me the next day. I said, man, <laughs> that's the way things go. <laughs> Can you say that on TV? <laughs> the, uh, you've been 28 years. You're the crew chief, Tommy. And Phil, you've been 21 years behind the uh, behind the mask, both you guys. And, you know, sometimes players take grief and they take criticism. Managers do, umpires do. And I'm an analyst, and I try and present to people how things happen, okay? Um, it seems like there's a new era that people want perfect, and the human era doesn't allow that. I certainly, from the player side, so I thought to get together with you guys. And, you know, when, when, when you guys miss a pitch, you know it most of the time, some of the time? And, like, if I swing and miss or I don't do my job as a player, I beat myself up. Is it similar as an umpire? Yes. Yeah, you, you you know you're striving for perfection. You know that that's what drives us all in this game. Um, but you also realize that you're only a human being. Uh, you're not going to get them all right. But um, yeah, I pretty much know when I call a pitch um, if I got it right or not. And so when uh, well, let me let me ask Phil for a second. So what can you remember the worst call that you made and you knew it right away? Well. When it, when that happens, I'm going to let you know. But uh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, no. It, what Tommy said is exactly right. You know, players they don't understand. Like they get mad. Like if they, if we miss a pitch or we, you know, now it's different with replay. So it isn't like it used to be where the argument on the field over plays. But certainly with pitches still, and 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 the players get mad when when they because they go back and they look and they can tell if if uh, if we missed a play, and uh, but they don't realize that. As much as they are mad, we're we're more mad than they are, and I don't think that they understand that because we do beat ourselves up. Yeah. Because we we do try to be perfect, and we're not perfect. What are some of the things, reasons that legitimately would cause you to miss pitch? Like one of the things is, I talked to my buddy Rick Dempsey just a second. Ago. We've been talking about this for a while. Some catchers seems like they set up deeper. I mean, is there? Is, I know you guys. You know, all started and you got educated on how to be an umpire. And you've learned through your knowledge and wisdom. You've had mentors. But, I mean, does it matter where the catcher is, what he does? Can they block you out? What is the most, some of the most common things that can happen? Well, one being blocking out. You know, catchers nowadays, uh, you know, when I first came up in 86, uh, you know, the game was different. I, I don't care who you want to uh, say that to or argue with me. The game is definitely different. Um, Catchers nowadays, they don't worry about catching that ball. They worry about catching the ball, getting in a strike, and getting in the dugout, come out and hit, hit for home runs. and hit for. I mean, it's all about hitting. Um, but if a catcher is trying, you know, if the pitcher in your, their pregame, they decide we're going to work this guy inside, you know, they'll come inside, and then what I'll do is I'll usually give them a little pat on the back saying, hey, I can't see, you're blocking me. And most of the time, they will move a little bit to give you a chance to see it but blocking is uh that that's that's a tough one the, the more the more seasoned catchers will will give you a little room like tommy said but but some of the younger guys they'll say well this is where they want me and that's where he's going to stay and that that is one of the biggest reasons why sometimes we just can't see you're it. guessing you're guessing at the you know i'm you guess at the pitch if you can't see it you gotta you gotta guess you gotta call something <laughs>